Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to my tropical weather update. We're going to be talking about Hurricane Barrel. As Hurricane Barrel is starting to move its way toward the island of Jamaica, we're going to talk about some of the impacts that is expected for the island of Jamaica and also the track and what's going on currently structurally with the hurricane. As you can see here, Hurricane Barrel is just south of the island of Hispaniola in between the DR and Haiti and it is slowly making its way west northwest toward the island of Jamaica. Now we're going to see here that the storm only has about less than 24 hours before it makes some type of impact on the island of Jamaica. And we're going to talk about some of those impacts. So currently Hurricane Barrel as of the 8 p.m. advisory is uh, has max sustained winds of 150 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at about 22 miles per hour so timing is starting to run out for the island of Jamaica if you haven't done any of your preparations it's almost at the point now where it's too late because we're starting to expect some of those winds and some of those weather um, uh, to be able to impact the island of Jamaica early in the morning on our Wednesday and we can see here that the forecast cone brings the center of Hurricane Barrel very, very close to the island of Jamaica sometime in the afternoon on Wednesday. We're currently at about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so we have really only a few hours before we start to feel some of the impacts from Hurricane Barrel from some of the outer fringes. Now, it's been a while since the island of Jamaica has experienced a direct impact. However, it is looking more and more likely that Jamaica will not escape a direct impact from Hurricane Barrel. Also, the uh, Cayman Islands are also under a hurricane warning as the track has the center of barrel approaching the Cayman Islands, maybe just to the south of the Cayman Islands, but just enough to bring those sustained hurricane winds to the island. And because of that, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands are under hurricane warnings as we expect hurricane conditions to occur in the island of Jamaica and the Grand Caymans sometime within the next 24 hours. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the structure of the storm and talk about what's going on here. So throughout the day, we've had some shear that has been impending its way onto Hurricane Barrel, and the structure has been somewhat degraded today, and that shear is coming in kind of from the southwest and from the west, and it is due to the trade winds, and there's a lot of trade winds moving in at the surface. However, higher up in the atmosphere, those trade winds are actually pretty relaxed, and what that does is allow for a net of westerly shear to impend itself on Hurricane Barrel. But we can see here in the last couple of frames that the core of Barrel has become a little bit more symmetric in nature and there may be an opportunity for some strengthening as Hurricane Barrel goes west-northwest toward the island of Jamaica. However, it is forecast to weaken as it gets toward Jamaica. So we're going to have to watch for these trends and see if Hurricane Barrel is actually beginning to weaken or it may be leveling off. Now currently the hurricane hunters are in the storm of barrel and they've been finding uh, the pressure has increased from about 943 millibars to about 949 millibars. That increased pressure indicates that the storm is not strengthening and it may be slightly weakening. However, we're going to see if those trends continue as the hurricane hunters are actually in the storm now. And I'm going to go and see if there's actually a, a, a more recent pass uh, through the storm to see if maybe they've gotten another fix of the center. And it looks like actually they're getting ready to make a pass into the center now. So that number uh, will be updated as far as the barometric pressure for the system should be updated here shortly. However, for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and press forward. So for barrel, like I explained, the pressure is at about 943 millibars, but the currently the recon has uh, extrapolated a pressure at about 949. And due to that, we're going to see that the, the, the conditions in Jamaica is going to go downhill pretty fast, taking a look at the wind speed and the timing of the wind speeds. We have the probability of tropical, st tropical storm force winds are pretty much at a 100% or a guarantee for the island of Jamaica. And if we want to go ahead and take a look at the hurricane wind speed probabilities, those wind speed probabilities are going to increase as Hurricane Barrel gets closer and closer toward the island of Jamaica. And when can we expect some of those winds to start coming in? It looks as though at about Wednesday morning, uh, the island will start to get somewhat near those tropical force 
sustained wins. So all preparations, honestly, must be done by tonight. If you're batting down the hatches last minute, you got to get those done by tonight because when you wake up in the morning, conditions will begin to go downhill rapidly as Hurricane Barrel approaches the island of Jamaica. We're going to be expecting very, very strong winds. In addition to strong winds, very, very, um, a lot of rain, life-threatening flood, uh, flooding in some of the mountainous areas. Uh, with the mountainous areas, you get a lot of orographic lift that allows for a lot of the thunderstorm activity to really ring itself out in some of the mountainous areas of Jamaica. And then that water then finds valleys and it creates a lot of valley flooding in some of the areas. Storm surge is also an issue. So if you're in the island of Jamaica or if you're you know anyone that's in the island of Jamaica, you have to treat this storm very, very seriously. Hurricane Barrow is a major hurricane. It is forecast to weaken some. However, the forecast does keep Barrow at a major hurricane status as it makes its closest approach to the island of Jamaica. After Jamaica, there is an opportunity for some weakening due to the interaction with mountains and some interaction with, with friction as well. However, it looks as though Barrow will maintain its hurricane status until it reaches somewhere near the Yucatan Peninsula where there's a possibility of some additional weakening due to land interaction. And there is an opportunity for Hurricane Barrow to get into the Gulf and may present a problem for the U.S. So U.S. impacts are completely not ruled out as of yet. And there may be an opportunity for Hurricane Barrow to get into the Bay of Campeche area and may, depending on how much land influence is encountered in the Yucatan, there may be an opportunity for Hurricane Barrow to strengthen in this Bay of Campeche area, and it may present an opportunity for a potential landfall for some of the areas along the Texas and Louisiana coast, and of course, the coast of Mexico. So this storm is not done by any far stretch of the imagination. We have Jamaica to get through on two on Wednesday, as we get to our Thursday, the Cayman Islands, and as we get toward the weekend, looking at areas near the Yucatan Peninsula. So that is it for our update. Stay safe, and at, like always, refer to your local officials for official forecasting, for official evacuation routes, or official uh, words of anything that you may need. That is a look at my update, and I will see you later.